Hello everyone, Chris and Kieran from Kitchen Table Games and we're going to go and do a box opening since it's release day today. And I'm going to watch, watch me spend five minutes getting into this. There we go. So it was about 15 res and mythics are over the value of the actual booster pack. There's 68 rares and mythics in the set. So, just shy of a quarter of them. Alright. What should we start with? Left to right, eh? Quickly go through the commons. Don't think there's uh, anything too special. First rare. Oh, we've got a spider. Spore web weaver. And Griffin. Camera too close now, I can't see everything properly. Make an addition to your spider commander. Yeah. Just can't. Reach, hexproof from blue. And whenever it deals damage, game on life, and make a sapling token. Okay. Oh, okay. Grasp for darkness. Good on common. A good common. Oh, that's reprint. Yeah. Got a lot of reprints for the set. Ooh. Okay, we've got the dragon. Cadric. The crown scorched. Oh cool, I've got the foil rare for the for the box as well. Raider. Radder. Radder. Heart of Kend. Keld. Goblin wizard token. Palace. Hey, what makes them? I think I'm not sure. There's a spell with those in. Oh, I should have done this. Should have got a laptop set up. Yeah. With, uh, with what's in the set. And what the uh, what the pricier rares are. Unsubstantiated. I bet I'll be good. Oh no, our first shrine. That's pretty cool. Speaker of the Heavens. Vigilance Lifelink. One white for a 1-1. One, one. Tap it, create a 4-4 four, four white angel. Creature token with flying. Activate this ability only if you have at least 7 life more than your starting life total. Cast it as a sorcery. Uh, activate it as a sorcery. So we've got, we've got altered artists in this set as well. Hey, I think we have. I think so. I can't wait until we get back to drafting. Yeah, there is altered arts in this one. Ah, cool. Bot hand. There. Commander Staple. Uh, yeah, solemn synchro synchrolacrum. Well done. Like the line pitch. Yeah, just um so whenever it enters the battlefield, so it's your library for a basic land, put it into the battlefield tapped to your library, and then when he dies, you go and uh, you get to draw a card. Oh there you go, second shrine. Oh, ruined Halo. Oh, ho, ho. 
Uh, carry on with the Ruined Halo. Oh, don't, don't spoil look, it. look at that. Right, Ruined Halo was one of the reprints. Um, I think it's about the £2 mark. Could be wrong. But then we have a foil box topper type lily. Doesn't that look good? That's boardless. That's a boardless one, yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's excellent. I bet you're happy now. That's, uh, I'm very happy. That's going in your, your eight rack for modern, isn't it? It is. I don't know what the price is. The price is probably quite high on those as well. Um, if we're going off a certain website, it's uh, stated at eighty pounds. Nice. There you go. That pays for your box. Um, but... Oh, glorious anthem. That's a, it's a reprint as well. That's Creatures. good. Creatures you control get plus one plus one. Oh, awesome. That's... Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, what a box. Altered Grim Tutor. Ho, ho, ho. You bet. Uh, you've got to be happy with that. Okay. For that. Two, with that. two Altered Mythics. I think that's, I think that's a good price as well. Cultivate. Oh, there you go. There's a there's a rare that's worth more than the pack. Um, Spark Quantum Manticore. Let's go and pull that one. Beastie Token. Mm -hmm. It's not that expensive. No. Hydras. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's around 30, 35, 30 euros. Ah, okay. Still not bad. Goblin. Indestructible goblins for five. And a foil common. Oh, this this is good for limited. XL target non land permanent. It's uh, it's, it's controller gets a one one soldier. Common rare. Common rare. Common foil, even. We can just close the box now. We'll just, just leave leave it open as that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Grim Shooter, it's around 14 euros. Oh, right, yeah. On uh, my certain website. Uh, Vito is um, is about the £2.50 mark, so about the same same cost of a, a booster pack. Um, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. So. That's good. Aristocrat's Commander, that'd be nice one. Now, the worst thing is, I've not had a proper look at the set to see what I'm looking forward to draft. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. There's a common alternative out. Liliana Steward. Should we put that? Yeah. I think he's out of shot. Yeah, I thought about that for 8 rack as well. Really? Yeah, because you sacrifice it and target opponent discards a card. Should I try and announce that one? Uh, Nambi. Nambi, yeah. Steamed speaker. Foil on common. Oh, look at this land. 
Look at that. Do we not get a rep? Uh, yeah, that's the. Oh, that's the. Yeah. The lands are nice, though, aren't they? Yeah. Nice. I'll fix the, mix the lands and the tokens up here. Ever professional on here. Oh, that promo for jump start. That's it. Uh, that's going up and up in price all the time. That grasp again. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Should we show show off these altered ones a bit? And another dragon. Oh, and another foil rare for the box. We've got, we've got one. Haven't we? Yeah, we got one. Yeah, nice. Barin, Tolarian Archmage. Oh, he's the one if you bounce something. Yeah. When it enters the battlefield, return up to one target, creature or planeswalker to its own hand. At the beginning of your end step, if the permanent was put into your hand from the battlefield this turn, draw a card. That's pretty cool. So, I'm pretty sure with Thassa. Yeah. You'd be bouncing all day. And the original art shock. I like that they've gone back to that art. Oh, no, but Tom and Scrape. Tom and Scrape. Containment Priest. Flash. If a non token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast exile, it asked. Those effects were good. Ugh. <laughs> Like the soldiers as well, so I've got more fodder for my uh, my soldier commander to jeek deck. Oh, it makes a one one third creature token when it attacks, and it's tapped and attacking. That's good. I don't know, we should open these and we should decide what I'll pack one. Pick one of us from each, that'd be good. Uh, That's a lot of text. <laughs> Garrick's Har Har Harboring, Harboringer, Harborer, even. Yeah, Harbor. English. Uh, Hexbury from Black. Whenever he enters the battlefield, uh, whenever he deals combat damage to a player or a planeswalker, look at, look at that many cards off the top of your library. You may reveal a creature card. Or Garruk Planeswalker card from among them and put it into your hand for the rest of the bottom of your library in a random order. It's nice. It's good stats, isn't it? A four three for, for three, isn't that? Three. Three. I remember the Steel Leaf Elf, I think it was. Which was a four three for two. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh, it's a five four. The the three oh, green uh, the the green green green. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a five four. Can't be bought by creatures two or less, that one. I just got past my pick one. <laughs> the grass grass has got to be pick one, on it? Oh, I missed an uncommon out somewhere. Oh well. See the truth. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of those into your hand, put the rest at the bottom. Your library in a random order. If this spell was cast from anywhere other than your hand, put each of those cards in your hand instead. So that's, that's nice. Right? So how would you do that? Um, <coughs> oh, it's probably loads of ways. Um, and then you're casting, casting it for free, aren't you? Or uh, in, so modern, if you, I can't think of the card. Casting past in flames, where okay. you gives everything in your graveyard flashback. So you can flashback it. Yeah. Or what's the um, the primal big red dinosaur out of the Ixalan stuff? So if you revealed it off somebody else's library and cast it, okay, you'd get the you'd get all three cards.
Necromantia. Don't know if you can see. Yeah. Um, yeah. Say. It's gonna be fun, and it? we post this up. Everyone just okay. take the mick out of how we pronounce things. Yeah, necromania, is it? I can't really see it. Necromanta. Oh, necromanta. Yeah. 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 Choose a card name other than basic land card name. Search target opponent's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with that name and exile them. That player shuffles their library, and now my hand keeps shaking. <laughs> exile. Yeah. That player shovels their library and then creates a 2 2 black zombie creature token for each card exiled from, oh, from their hand. It's a full black version of Unmoored Ego. Yeah. And you get a zombie for your trouble if it's from your hand. Yeah. But you can't target lands. Because Unmoored Ego, you could target lands with Cunius. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Got another roller. Yeah, that's quite pretty cool, isn't it? That's very weird. Yeah, I was just looking at the mana symbols, because right? they're slightly more faded on the white than the black and the green. So, that's pretty cool, eh? Lifelink. Lifelink. Um, Bastille's. Uh, is it Bastille's? Is that the Planeswalker? Yeah. Um, Baz. Yeah, Baz Reed. As we use Acolyte enters the battlefield, but 1 1 counter on each of up to two other target creatures you control. Not too bad. Yeah, that's good. Got another Cultivate, that's nice. Oh, there you go, 1 drop black. Uh, flash. Whenever Thieves Guild Enforcer or another rogue enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills two. Uh, as long as the opponent has eight or um, Eight or more cards in their graveyard. Thieves Guild Enforcer gets plus two plus one and has Death Touch. Oh, uh, yeah, that's nice. Foil. Fat Cell Freebooter. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You like your pirates, don't you? I do. I do like my pirates. And then we've got a special pirates. And then planes. Got forest and planes. So that'd be good to keep track on uh, how many alternative art um, basic lines you get. Third box. I'm surprised they didn't get like Pharaoh. I'm just having definitely. Yeah. Her back. Ooh, a white shrine. That's three shrines as well now. Yeah. Another thing to think about. Ooh. So, two two spiders and two, uh, two dragons that we've got. Do you open the other half? Your box. Yeah, I could have let you really. Right, I'll do this as my last one, and then we'll swap over. <laughs> Although I, I, I've opened the, the probably the nicest too. That's fine. Uh, so we do these. Oh, dude! Look it's at that. Lily. Nice. Double lily box. That's awesome. You're jammy, you are with these. I don't know. If I, I, can't, I can't decide which one's better, though. No, the borderless one. The borderless yeah. one is definitely better. Yeah, got to be on it. That's cool. Right, buddy, I'll uh, get out of your way. Okay, I'm going to be a bit more slower because I want to read what some of them do. I've got a feel, give me a sacrifice creature or discard a creature card and draw a card. It's not too bad. That's not bad either. Plus one, plus one, hex proof until the end of the turn. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in my sapphire deck. Yeah, I've, I've seen some of the cards you're putting in your sapphire deck. It's uh, disgusting. <laughs> It's terrible. It's, it's a terrible modern deck, but it's, uh, it's worth trying. Oh, they've uh, redone Scorching Dragonfire as well. Yeah, the premium removal in this set, definitely. Chrome. Replicator. 
Huh, okay, that's interesting. That seems much that doubles the power of the creature, to be honest with you. Oh, oh first, first temple. Yeah, first temple. Not too bad. You've, you've messed up the tokens in line. I know, you? yeah, sorry. Saplings. So a lot of sapling creation in this. Yeah. Thing. I thought so it was quite odd that the spider creates saplings. So you'd, you'd have thought it would well, make one, two spiders. Unless you think of it as a fungus infection and the spider picked it up. Yeah. Um. So snare spinner is another spider. That's a reprint, yeah. Uh, uh, goblin, goblin wizardry. There you go. That's your card that creates two goblin wizards with prowess. That's good. Four be drop. Cool. Yeah. So, oh, I'm, I'm thinking more for drafting. It would be good for that. Yeah. Right. Mind drop reprint as well. It's not going to be a constructive play, is it? So I like Thrill of Possibilities. Two drops, discard a card, draw two cards, in red. Oh, there we go. I have an Altered Art Fairy's Protégé. Oh, okay, that's, that's going to be key in the uh, draw two cards archetype. Like the green-blue archetype. Now revitalize, reprint. Uh, eliminate, destroy, target creature or planeswalker with CMC three or less. That's quite good. Works uprising. Okay. And a second see the truth. See the truth. And another another forest. Oh nice. I'm sorry. We shouldn't we shouldn't really win about the amount of doubles we're getting in this box because they're lily. <laughs> yeah yeah, I'm <laughs> more than happy with this box with uh, two lilies. So rookie mistake. That's not bad. Fetid Imp. <coughs> Pay black, give it death touch. Yep. Yeah. That's a very proud cat. Pride Malkin. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Creatures with a plus one plus one get trample. Mm. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a good set for, for drafting it. Second Louis Stewart, Liliana Stewart. All corners now. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so Riddle Form. I'm not seeing this one. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, you may have Riddle Form become a free free sphinx with flying and additional to its other types. And for two and a one, it lets you scry. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a reprint. I'm not sure what's Hello. Oh, hello. Indulging. Uh, Pat. I just don't know how you pronounce that one. Petition? Yeah, I'll go with that one. So, f flying, lifelink. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, each opponent loses three life. That's uh, quite a deadly one. Okay, it's a second Baron as well. I suppose the first one was a foil. Yeah, first one was a foil. Like I said, I didn't get any fasses from uh, Theros, uh, which I need from a pirate pioneer deck as well. Oh, you're doing pioneer now? Yeah, I've got my pirate. Well, that's the only way I can play my pirate deck. Uh, I, c I could do goblins for pioneer, but. There we go, that's the first. I think that's the first one I've seen. You might have uh, seen past one. I might have seen past a few. Good doing the sacrifice though, because you know it leaves you another body behind. I'm just hoping people can see. I would quite like the idea of that tempered veteran mm. and double counters, so I think that'll be used in chunk of decks. Another goblin shaman. At the beginning of combat. Uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may have a target creature get plus two plus oh. So we'll drop goblin. Which is cauldron. Sack a creature. You gain one life, draw one card. And then her 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 hero. Oh. 
Heroic Intervention. Heroic Intervention. Oh, this is the one I've seen you have loads in your satire deck. <laughs> Permanence you control, gain, uh, gain hexproof and indestructible to the end of the turn. Yeah. It's a two drop, which is seems stupidly and strong. At the moment, it's going for about three pound as well. That seems silly because that seems a very strong card. Yeah, and it was only in the uh, Aether Revolt, I want to say. It's kind of the best Aether Revolt. I'm leaning more towards Aether Revolt. Though. Ah, Colossal Dreadmore. <laughs> Fan favourite. Crash through as well has come back. Oh, is it? Uh, it'll be in standard. Um, Spined Megalodon. Seven drop hexproof. And whenever it attacks, it scries. Duress. That's when that gets reprinted in every set. Uh, life goes on. You gain four life. If a creature died this turn, you gain eight life for a one drop. Seems... Uh, Oh, hello. Goblin Arsonist. It's a one drop. Whenever it dies, deal one damage to any target. So that's Mog Fanatic. Similar. You yeah. have to sack the Mog Fanatic. Yeah. So that's not bad for a one drop goblin. Ah, it's the Lanoir Visionary. <laughs> and is and gets mana, which a lot of people will like. Flying pr prowess. Which... Yeah, blue white flyers is going to be a good archetype. And I've already got a blue, blue white flying yeah. deck. This, yeah, rewind seems a, a bit silly. Counter spell and untap four land, so it's a free counter spell, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Oh, carrying grub. That's uh, another interesting one. How, I don't know how you pronounce that. Quarian Dryad? Yeah. Whenever you cast a spell that's white, blue, black, or red. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Oh, we've got another Mythic. Um, Terror of the Peaks. Flying. Spells your opponent's cast target Terror of the Peaks. Costs an additional 3 life to cast. That's uh, quite deadly. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. That seems rather deadly. And then we've got another foil. Unleashed Fury, double the damage. Do this one and we'll have to pause it. Okay, that's fine. Defender, Dub. I like Dub, don't know how useful it'd be. Plus two, plus two, first strike can make things a night. Turn to slag. Turn to slag deals five damage to target creature. Destroy all equipment attached to that creature. It's a five drop, but seems quite strong in the right circumstances. It is. It's good for kill. Turn to nature. Pretty sure that's a reprint. Yeah, yeah. War of the Spark originally. Right? That's a reprint. Kinetic Augur, I think that's how you pronounce it. Trample, and its power is equal to the number of instances of sorceries in your graveyard. When it enters the battlefield, discard up to two cards, and you may draw that many. It's not bad. Here's a reprint, quite cool. Fresh in front of Archfiend Vessel, lifelink, one drop. When it enters the battlefield, and it is entered from your graveyard, or if you cast it from your graveyard, exile it, and it becomes a 5-5 five five black... Demon creature token. Oh, another mythic. Um, as long as it's your turn, you cast spells. That, oh, this card costs two and blue blue less to cast. End the turn. Okay. You can end your turn or you can end the opponent's turn. Exile all spells and abilities from the start. Ah, so it could be devastating. Yeah, so it could be a counter. Yeah. Or it could it can end. Um, there's. I got the emblem. Really. <laughs> there's um, the red white cards that give you another combat phase, but you lose the game at the end of the turn and stuff like that, isn't there? Yeah. So you can cast it to avoid effects like that. 
Yeah, I'll do it. Do one more. Yeah, and just yeah, just end no, end the stack as well. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So you could well, you end in the stack. Yeah, of all the spells. Exiles them. Yeah, yeah exiles them. But it also stops you from dying from your own spell if you if you use those ones. Glorious end. Right. Okay. Sky spinner. Well, we've got a black shrine. It's a better one. The beginning of your pre-combat main phase, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, but X is the number of shrines you control. They all legendary. Yes. Right, so seems very specific maybe. Um and we have a whale. Type of whale of a time. Um when pursued whale enters the battlefield, each opponent creates a one one red pirate creature token with this creature can't block. And creatures you control attack each combat if able. Uh, spells opponents cast that target pursued whale cost three more. It's an eight eight and a seven drop. I quite like that card. I think it's quite funny. Shadow of the whale. And we have an altered art. No, uh, not an art. Yeah, it's an altered yeah, art it's foil. Foil as well. Chandra's magmot. And you can tap it and deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. Doesn't seem that bad. Yeah. One more. <laughs> One more. Nearly done. Ish. Read the tides. Troll snout. <laughs> that looks cool. I like that card. Uh... Oh, look, a normal magma. Oh, so. Open. Crack in. Yeah. Whenever you draw a card, you may pay one. If you do, you may tap or untap target creature. That's quite cool. Enthralling Hulk. You can't. Enchant creature. You can't choose an untapped creature as this spell. Okay. Oh, you just gain control of a creature. Okay. A snake. When you draw a card, put a 1 1 counter on it. I assume it was alright, especially in uh, Simic. Bet we'll be seeing that a lot. Okay, Idol of Endurance. When Idol of Endurance enters the battlefield, exile all creature cards with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard until Idol of Endurance leaves the battlefield. Until end of turn, you may cast creatures, spells from among cards exiled with Idol with out paying its mana cost. Tap it until the end of turn, you may cast a creature, a creature, a single creature. I thought that seemed a bit stronger until I read that problem. Uh, I'm going to pause it there and we'll be back after. 